Hello, in this video, you're going to learn the one trick that will change your life forever. Well, not really. I'm just going to show you a nice way in 3ds Max to get a variable chamfer radius. Now, if you're a Blender user and you know how to do what I'm about to show you in Blender, please let me know. I have looked around, but I haven't found anything quite like what I'm about to show you. So please let me know if Blender can do this as well and then make a video on it as well. All right, guys. So first I'll make a basic model starting with a plane. All right, guys, now that I've got this, what I'm going to do is a new add apply modifier. I'm going to select this right here. And pretty much what we need to do is change the crease value. The larger the crease value, the larger the radius of the chamfer will be. So let's have this be zero. And then this one will make 0.1. And then this one will make 0.2. And so then I'm going to go with 0.3. 0.4 and 0.5 right here. All right, next I'm going to apply chamfer modifier. All right, and so pretty much right here under chamfer options, we want to change the amount type to by crease weight. And now we simply need to change the minimum amount and the maximum amount. And look at that guys, is that now cool or what? Increase the segments, and there you go, guys. Variable radius chamfer in 3ds Max simply by using edge creasing. Now, of course, it's not quite as powerful as with CAD because there is a topology limit. Because you know, with polygons, you always have to worry about topology, but it's still, I think, a very nice feature that will definitely help to create some interesting, cool designs for you. So we can continue modeling this, for example. I can just extrude this down and then just target well with that. And now we have this happening here. As you can see, guys, it goes from thin to thicker, the thinner here as well. I can select this and also make this 0.5, maybe a little bit less. There we go. Now it goes from thin to wider here to thinner as well. So as you can see, guys, you still get this nice all quad workflow. It's still all quads here. But now you have the benefit of being able to quickly chamfer like this. One of the things I've not covered a lot on my channel is using things like chamfer, but for the past few years, there's been some very nice additions to the chamfer modifier. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like a separate video on just the chamfer modifier and all the things we can do with it, because I really haven't, you know, my main modeling style isn't really working with chamfer, but it is a very nice modifier and it is a very powerful modeling workflow using chamfer as well. So just let me know if you guys want a dedicated video on chamfer, and I hope this technique can help you out and create some very nice effects. You can further apply the poly on top of this and just do further modeling. Thank you for watching and take care.